Hi, my name is Stella Boothman. I'm a sculptor and ceramic artist based here at Howford Mill. Uh, and I just wanted to show you a little bit about my practice and my studio and talk about the things that inspire me. So um, this is my studio space. Um, I have it set out in different areas for different tasks um, and there are some things that are very functional, things like my kiln and I also have a pug mill for recycling clay. But I also have areas that I work in and tools for specific jobs. So I'll just talk you through a little bit of that. So this is sort of my work table and I have a variety of tools here that all do different jobs to help me form and shape clay. This is my slab roller. Um, this is a North Star slab roller. And um, basically what a slab roller does is take a lot of the work out of manually rolling out slabs of clay. Normally people would have roller guys you put down on the table and then they would use a rolling pin and roll the clay out to a certain thickness. If you're making lots of slab made objects and you are wanting to um, make a lot of slabs in a short space of time, a slab roller is a brilliant tool. Um, this is called an extruder um, and this basically will make various shapes in clay for you, particularly coils which is something you might be familiar with. But if there is a number of dies that you can put into it to create all kinds of shapes and you can build those shapes into different forms and different pots and different objects and I'll show you some of those afterwards. Uh, I have here a sink and I have a wedging area where I recycle clay, I also wedge clay and I also have um, a potter's wheel here that I use and um, I use that for throwing obviously and I have that as a separate area because um, it's a good idea to try and keep your zones clean and tidy when you're working and you have a nice floor around your studio. So here's an example of a coil built form. Um, this, is, this is a moon jar. Um, it's made with a really heavily grogged um, stoneware clay. Um, grogged basically means that it has different materials added into the clay body like molokai and sand and ground up, port, um, ground up ceramic. Um, and that makes the clay really strong. So when you want to build a bigger form, you want the clay that will hold up and keep its shape while you're building it up into something that's this size. This is still drying, things take a long time to dry in this studio and it has to be bone dry before I can fire it because if it isn't then I'm asking for trouble and it might explode in the kiln which I don't want it to do. So I'm just going to show you some examples of um, some of the things that I've been working on. Um, I am particularly interested in uh, nature and objects from nature, um, pebbles, um, fungi, um, uh, rocks, hillsides, landscapes, things like that. So um, I make quite um, organic looking um, forms and shapes in my, um, in my ceramic sculptures. Um, there's a series of three here that are still dry and ready for firing. I've got um, a mushroom um, partly um, being formed here. I've just started that this morning. Over here we have a three-part um, three part sculpture which is made out of um, a um, stoneware clay again and um, again this is still drying and hopefully once it's fired the pieces will still sit together like this and the idea is it kind of looks like a natural sort of pebble stack. This area is where I store all my glazes and my glazing tools and my um, oxides and stains that I will use on the clay bodies and the underglazes that I also use. At the bottom you can see there's quite a few plaster formers and also a couple of um, moulds, plaster moulds that I would use for slip casting.